Hello, Dr. Bill here. Today we're going to take a look at uh, the same problem, actually, but in two formats, SAT multiple choice versus grid in. If you find this lesson helpful, please do subscribe to the channel, hit the like button, the bell icon to be notified of future videos, and kindly notify anyone who could benefit from this. So let's take a look. So the first thing we're going to look at is the multiple choice version we have here. If 2 times the square root of y equals y minus 3, which of the following is a solution for y? Okay, this is a simple back solve. What we want to do here is plug the answers in to see which one gives us a solution. So here if we look, we see that 9 is in a number of these problems. So let's try 9. So here we plug in 9 and we get 2 times the square root of 9 equals 9 minus 3. And here the square root of 9 is 3. So 2 times 3 does indeed equal 6, and that's a winner. So we know here that um, 9 works, and we can eliminate C here, okay, which is negative 9. Okay, now we see that 1 is, and negative 1 is in a number of these answers, and actually negative 1 is not going to work here, right? We can see that right away. Um, here we can eliminate D as well, and we just try out number 1. So when we plug in 1, we've got 2 times the square root of 1 equals 1 minus 3, which is negative 2, and 2 times the square root of 1 does not equal negative 2, so that's out. And our answer is going to be B as in boy, okay? All right, now, what if this were a grid-in problem? We wouldn't have the benefit of multiple choice answers and would have to actually go through and work this a little bit harder. So let's see what we would do here. We have here 2 times the square root of y equals y minus 3. If we square both sides, this becomes 2 squared, which is 4. And then the square root of y and um, the square root sign, rather, and the exponent cancel, and we get y. So that's 4y. And then here, we would get y minus 3 times y minus 3. And this would be 4y equals y squared. We're going to FOIL that, right? y times yy squared. y times negative 3, negative 3y. Negative 3 times y, negative 3y. And negative 3 times negative 3, positive 9. So 4y would equal, combine like terms, y squared minus 6y plus 9. And then we would set this equal to 0, right? And we'd do that by um, subtracting 4y from both sides, right? So this would be 0 equals y squared minus 10y plus 9. And then here we would bring this up here, do our parentheses, and then we would say y and y. And this is plus and that's minus, which means we need two negative signs. And we get y equals, or y minus 1 times y minus 9 equals 0. So y is going to equal 1, or y is going to equal 9 right, which is what we had over here. And again, here, in order to determine whether 1 or 9 would work in a grid in, we would need to plug it in to our original equation to see which one works and which one gives us an extraneous solution. And an extraneous solution would be an extra solution, one that does not work. Now here we plugged 9 in before, we found that it worked. We plugged 1 in and we found that it didn't work. So here our answer would be 9 on the grid in, and that's what you would put in and grid in, okay? Once again, I hope you found this lesson valuable. If so, please subscribe to the channel, like, and share. This is Dr. Bill, and we'll see you on the next video.